Hello girls and boys, welcome back to another video. Today is the 26th of February 2025 and the new version of Mixpad and the new version 1.6 for the SQ series is out and today I thought we're gonna so, uh, we're gonna compare the two versions of Mixpad. Okay, let's dive right into it. We have here the old version 1.5.1 and here is the new version 1.6. And the first thing that f f caught my eye is we have now the ability to use or uh, to control insert point and insert on off from the Mixpad app. That is great. We couldn't do that in the previous version. No insert uh, controllability here. The next thing is that we have in the upper right corner we can see. Uh, in which uh, scene we are in. This is also not available or was not available in the old version. Okay, and here's a little bit of a, yeah, a cosmetical change. It's higher than before. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's worth. It doesn't matter, I think, so much. Okay, let's jump to the next things. Uh, apologies for the noises you might hear in the background. It's my dog playing with uh, one of my old socks. Apparently. Okay, next thing. 1.6 has uh, corrected the, uh, the white lines. Those were before not uh, in the EQ uh, in the 100 hertz, 1K and 10K. No, it's now corrected to the right spot. Nice little, um, as, a, uh, as I said, cosmetical change. Okay, next up. Kate. Nothing has changed here. PEQ section. Nothing really new, a little bit that on the old one, the colors are a little bit duller, as you can see. Yeah, and again, the border of the word reset whenever you have to click on something is now um, a little is more gray and not white. Let's go to compressor. Here is nothing new in the first view, but the library now offers us the Optronic. Ta -ta -ta -ta. There it is. In two versions, unit A and unit B, and uh, uh, including the parallel path, but no side chain. Oh yeah, there's the side chain uh, thing. Okay, including side chain and oh, go away, dog. And the other new compressor which I'm very excited about is the bus compressor, which looks like this. Maybe a bit grainy from the GUI, but as long as it works, I don't uh, complain too much. Oh, sit. Ah, yeah, sir. <laughs> sorry, sorry. The noises are not from me, they are from my dog. Okay, so let's go back to uh, the... Uh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Okay. Next up, routing. Something new in routing. Old one, new one, nothing strikingly new. So nothing new, I think. Metering, new one, old one. Again, the only thing that has changed that in the upper right corner, there is the indi indication in which scene you are right now. Scenes. Okay, okay. There is a difference. We have an all scenes button. The first thing I miss is that we actually have uh, now cues uh, and not only scenes in version 1.6 for the uh, SQ series. And in the um, reference guide, we have uh, here all scenes and cue list. Maybe I can't see it in here, but it should be up here, the all scenes option. Like the... Um, a reference guide hints to okay but there are the other th side the right side is different as well so let's go back to the old one we had recall go and three things for modify store delete recall filter and now you see we have go auto increment which means if you hit go um, the next scene in line will automatically uh, be loaded crossfade time that is really really nice 
for theater applications, I think. And maybe also for your, for your usual day-to-day -day, that if you don't want to jump uh, from one scene to another. Okay, um, global filters are ah, another new thing. Global filters, those are the old ones. For example, processing. Save the processing completely or do not save the processing. That was the old uh, option. Now, as you can see, you have in the processing, the insert, EQ, dynamics, and other things uh, differently or independently. That's what I want to say. Okay, same goes for, for all the mixes and same goes for the uh, controls over here. Okay, so if we go to controls, you can now uh, control the mixer configuration, which you couldn't before. Why is that? Well, now, apparently, you can change the stereo setting um, in the configuration from scene to scene and not only uh, on a show base, which is pretty great. Shh, sit. Ah, ah, come on. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, short break and I will bring out the dog. So, what's new in the uh, C in the in the safes area. Um, old version? No, sorry. Uh, this is the old version. This is the new version. Nothing new at first glance. Let's check the effect sites. Nothing new here. Old, new, old, new. And let's take a look at the mix section. Ah, here we have a difference. In the old version, Here's some space in the middle, and we have matrix one, two, three. In the new version, here is a little space left. Why is that? Well, now you can do mono matrices. That means if we have, if we, for example, choose to have six mono matrices, uh, matrix, uh, matrix four, five, and six will appear here. Uh, we'll check that in the setup section in a few seconds. Okay, let's go to setup. New version, old version. The mix looks the same to me. Effects, old, new, the same. DCA, nothing new here. MIDI, nothing new here. Okay, let's go to the audio portion. Oh! Now we have something new here. Uh, we have the uh, digital I.O. that can be switched globally from 69 kilohertz to 48 kilohertz. And guess what? Now you can use the uh, uh, USB ports, the, US, the SQ drive on the front of the SQ and the S uh, USB B on the back of the mixer simultaneously. Um, is it's the same routing? So if you say um, input one to thirty-two, it will be the same inputs for both outputs. Um, you uh, you can't use both at the same time if if one is doing playback. But uh, this is why you have the global option now here. Okay, um, let's go back. Input. Uh, the input to Puffet Source is now uh, switchable. Um, some um, had problems with uh, um, viewing where, where how the how the uh, level is in the automatic mic mixer. That can now be switched right here. Okay, uh, mixer config is the same for the input stereo. Is the same at the first glance uh, for the stereo mixes, but you can now set those to mono and they will appear right here. Okay, now we have four, oh sorry, six mono matrices possible or only that way. Um, so four mono, one stereo, and whatever you like. Okay, and if we now go back to the uh, scenes page, you see now you have uh, all the spaces now occupied by six monometrices. Chaka! Okay.
let's go back to the setup um bus config nothing new here roll this looks the same to me besides that the reset button is grayed out in the new version and was a little bit brighter in the old version nothing new in the ganging area and oh yeah look now we have use sq layers as an option here in the mixpad options okay another thing that has changed here of course you can now use sq rack as the sq model because version 1.6 is for all sq models including sq rack let's go to utility um oh yeah the automatic mic mixer is now um patchable and controllable from the mixpad version so you can go here input assign one uh, two great have the overview controllability etc okay um and the other thing looks like cosmetical changes like more grayed out than before um let's go to the last page the patching again the same is holds true for all the new graying out <laughs> scream uh, scheme it was lighter now it's or is it bold and normal maybe it's that okay input new version input old version identical nothing new on this side well again uh, i think that wraps it up um i hope you have fun with the new version and i'll see you in the next video bye bye